video and just from watching the clips back and watching the video um, it looks like the walk is so easy and it's so not I think we was walking for like seven or eight hours um, and I think the video is like ten minutes maybe so the tiny sections of clips that Harry recorded mostly are all at walking on flat ground so it just looks so easy but the majority of it just so weren't hardly anything was flat ground it was all up and down and so many steps but i just wanted to start the video by sort of saying that one it's not as easy as it looks and two like you still can do it but it will be very tiring and a long day do you think it was easy harry no definitely not <laughs> you've got like photo stops the whole way there's just beautiful views everywhere every photo chance we were stopping taking photos um drinking our ribena and eating <laughs> like you can speak to someone that's done it in like five or six hours and we spoke to a girl and she was like yeah i stopped for like five ten minutes had my sandwich and then carried on and that was her only stop like some people use it as like their training but obviously we wasn't it was like a memory and an experience for us um but the last section is mentally probably the most difficult because you've seen the view of that section now and it probably lasts for like lasts for like two hours that whole bit but you're just walking and you've done the hard part you're done with the walk now you just want to get back to the coach um, and it just seems that it goes on forever um, but there are some tricky points there like Harry nearly died he definitely nearly fell off the side oh. um, his foot slipped and I was behind him and I remember just watching all of the rocks just carry on and carry on and carry on falling. There's a reason why they're so conscious and careful about the weather warnings um, because there's so many sections that even the smallest amount of wind you can easily get blown off. Like There are some really dangerous sections where we had to like take it slow and be careful. But the best experience I think that we've done travelling yeah, especially during news. Did you did you get any footage of um, us falling over? No. <laughs> and we recorded like after we fell over, but we was in so much pain, and you just wouldn't know because we was just enjoying it, and it was just part of it. But our bodies were hurting, our knees and <laughs> hips. I'm I'm sort of glad that we fell over doing it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it was worthwhile, you know. <laughs> yeah. So me and Loren have uh, arrived in. Topo, they call it, but we uh, I've been saying Taupo the whole time to be honest. But uh, Topo is apparently the way you pronounce it. Um, we're getting ready for the Tongariro crossing, but um, tomorrow it's a very early start 5 20 a.m. Pick up, yeah. So, what 4 30 wake up? Oh, no, I don't know. Before. But um, gone shopping, got all of our food, water, obviously, and uh, we're not too sure about the weather though. So the weather's so up and down, like we don't know if we need like full skiing gear for winter or is it, is it okay in shorts, we don't know. But um, yeah, we're just going to try and prepare as much as possible and hope for the best. <laughs> so we've made it to the base of the uh, Tongariro crossing. Yeah, we have a long walk ahead of us. <laughs> we're just coming up to the uh, end of the first part, I think. And then it's all in hard ascent from here. And we're already breathing out our ass. <laughs> we're already naked. But, um, it's cloudy at the moment, but the forecast is that the uh, sun will come soon. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, hopefully it'll be a clear day. So that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yep. Ooh. The sun is starting to clear up the skies, which means I think, could be wrong here, but I think begin to see Mount Doom from the Lord of the Rings and then by the time we get up there in a uh, three days time <laughs> we'll uh, hopefully see the craters that are there 
for anyone that's wondering or uh, worried. There are break points and toilets at various points on the mountain, so you can continue and be okay. Yeah, I was joking. <laughs> Easy part. We're uh, knackered, to be honest. <laughs> We're at the um, somewhat higher point. We've got a bit more left. Then we're screwed. <laughs> the legs are killing us. <laughs> but look at that view. That's worth it already. Liam, if you're watching, Mount Doom. <laughs> this one's for you, yeah? <laughs> the precious. So behind us, you can see Mount Doom. And at the moment, we are in the uh, red crater. Look at that. Pretty cool. We was reading on the sign that the uh, the last eruption was literally like 2012. Like, what on earth are we doing here? And, and New Zealand. Go at any time. Go at any time. Without warning. And then also, you was reading, weren't you? The uh, there was another New Zealand volcano that went recently that killed everyone on the island. So uh, yeah, great news. <laughs> So um, we've come to the lakes and me and Loren have both taken a tumble. <laughs> <laughs> Loren was a bit more like a <laughs> visual. What, what happened to you? Explain. I tripped and instead of like going back onto my bum back, I go forward down a slope. So I like just <laughs> scraped along. <laughs> We're, we're laughing on the outside, but we're crying on the inside. Yeah, I'm in a lot of pain Where, now. Where's your hand? Show the hand. Yeah. You can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it, obviously. But, but the, scar, the bit of flap of skin that's coming off does actually look like a volcano. Nice. So and then uh, my knee. Harry yeah. literally ended up like that on the floor. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, but it's a lovely place. I was place. laughing at you when. I went. Yeah, instant, instantly, instantly, instantly as I fell, laugh. She laughed. No, I instantly. waited for you to start laughing. And then obviously me, you know, all concerned when she oh. fell. Loren, are you okay, my dear? Are you okay? And then, you know, then laugh. Oh, so softly. What I get, instant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> People seeing it. That, that poor guy, he tried to be, um, uh, like tried not to show that he saw it, <laughs> but then told his girlfriend when he come down. Oh, when I I don't know if a woman see it or she see me on the floor and it's like the end of it. Um, but I was in a lot of pain and adrenaline. I was just going to burst into tears if someone asked me. <laughs> <laughs> but we're on the last, well, we're, that's it, the halfway down. point. We're now down, well, let's say down. We've got to go up that next. Mm. But then uh, it's down from the highest point now. Oh wow. Another one. That must be where the main crater hit, you know? Not perfectly circle. <laughs> that 
that started on a perfect bit. We're now in the cloud. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> We're in the cloud. Oh, look up there, look. We're at the last leg of our journey now, and uh, it's just stretching on and on. It's amazing, but getting a bit 